so we received our first Teaching American History grant in 2005, and Mimi and I were both on the, the right writing group that put that grant together, and uh, Lesson Study was a part of that um, grant that was originally written. And I think that over the last five years, we've really learned a lot about the fact that Lesson Study empowers teachers in their own classrooms. So even though they're developing an individual lesson plan, it's not necessarily about the development and completion of the individual lesson plan. It's about the teachers coming together collaboratively, talking about the content that they've learned from historians, and then translating that content for their students at, in California, their fifth, eighth, or eleventh grade level. And I think that what lesson study allows them to do is be the experts in their own class and in their own field, and then working collaboratively, coming together to take ownership of that content so that their students can then take ownership of that content. There's something about the process of lesson study that is very professionalizing for the teachers. It does um, bond them to each other. It has bonded us as a community. And it connects them deeply to the content, too, because they can sort of um, own it. And I think Ronnie said that. It is, it is a real ownership model. Because we're a countywide project, we actually act as a consortium for 14 different school districts, K-12. We have two partners. Um, our biggest partner is Sacramento State University and they provide us with access to historians and then Mimi is the other faculty member in the College of Education that we work with and we also work with historians from our local community college because it is the Institute of Higher Ed in the county that most of our high school students go on to. So we bring our teachers together and typically we have a cohort of about 30 teachers and we've experimented with different models. Sometimes we've had all fourth and fifth grade teachers in a summer institute or all eighth grade teachers. In the last few years we've had a mix of fifth, eighth, and eleventh grade because that's where the standards are for U.S. history in California. We bring them together in a multi-day summer institute where they're working with historians. Historians are doing formal lectures with PowerPoint. Sometimes historians are bringing in primary source documents and teaching them to evaluate the primary source documents and actually act as historians um, to draw conclusions and interpret those documents. We also work with them on lesson design, what good lesson design looks like, having an assessment with their, with their uh, um, lesson plan, instructional strategies that will work at different um, levels using graphic organizers or, or student conversations, those types of things. So that's, that's during the summer where they're really interacting in a concentrated way with the content and with our faculty members. Then during the school year, we provide them with four substitute days where we pull them together as large groups and as small groups to plan the lesson collaboratively. They use online lesson planning tools and online learning environments like Blackboard to continue some of their professional conversations. And then they actually have uh, two teaching events where two teachers from their group teach the lesson on different days. After each teaching event, they reflect and revise the lesson plan that they've created as a group. And I think that it's really important, the most important thing about that is that they have, they have collaboratively designed this lesson plan. So they're not watching the teacher teach, they're watching the students interact with the material and the content. And that's how they do their revision. They base their revision on that interaction and on the evidence that they gather during, the, during those teaching events. And then we have uh, instituted over the last few years a final revision day because even though they're teachers, they don't always get the grammar right. <laughs> so we bring them together. We actually have a copy editor that we work with. We have our historians come in for the final day to answer questions, to really sort of finalize that content, um, selection of primary source materials and those sorts of things. So they, they finalize that lesson plan in the online lesson builder. Um, and they submit it to us that we can then post and they can share it with each other. They have time to share with each other across grade levels as well mm -hmm. during that time. So that's how our teachers really interact with each other and with the content.